Hey there guys, today I got a special unboxing video and unpacking video as you can tell from my little setup here. I was running around looking for mystery boxes and I ran into all these different targets and I saw something for a hundred dollars but they were all sold out at most of them I went to but the last one that I went to actually had one and I did not believe my eyes when I saw it. It is the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection. Now I've only seen a few unboxing videos on these but the other thing that surprised me was these were ten dollars off so instead of it being a hundred bucks it was ninety bucks but I don't think that's bad for considering what you get in here so yeah just to recap what the box looks like if you haven't seen one before so this is the front and then it's got a little description and pictures on what's in here so it's a little hard to read but there we go so we have one special gold version of Zashian one special gold version of Zamazenta two sets of metal damage counter dice two metal coins featuring Zashian and Zamazenta two sets of card sleeves featuring Zashian and Zamazenta this is 130 sleeves in all wow that's a lot and then a set of richly designed metal condition markers, 16 Pokemon trading card booster packs from the Sword and Shield, a player's guide, a Pokemon rule book, and a code card for the Pokemon trading card game online. <clears throat> Man, that was a lot. <laughs> All right. And then on the side, it has like a picture of what it looks like when it's open and that's on the cardboard cutout and then here's the back and then there's some more writing back here a little hard to read because of the coloring try to get the window out for you guys there we go it's kind of less of a glare or I can just read it I'll just read it for you guys all right, let's see here. It says, as a tradition, as a tremendous, powerful set of Galgar region Pokemon and metal coin, dice, and condition markers to your Pokemon. Oh, it says add. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at reading. With two legendary Pokemon of Galgar in golden card form, accompanied by shining metal accessories, your collection will stand out as a beacon. With the power of Zashian V and Zamazena V, your deck will seize the day, channeling the strength of metal type Pokemon into the roster. In addition to a player's guide covering the entire first year of the Sword and Shield series, including details about top cards and combos, you'll find more surprises in Pokemon trading card game booster packs. Do more than just explore Galgar, stands should be to show. Stand, sh oh, stand shoulder to shoulder with its greatest legends. Such a horrible reader, guys. <laughs> and then there's Zashian and Zamazena. All right. And then this side just says Sword and Shield. All right. And I'm pretty sure it's the same on either sides. So this, it says Pokemon trading card game on this side, but the other side had that cardboard cutout, so... That's probably why it would say something different. And then Sword and Shield. Alright guys, let's get this thing opened. So yeah, like I said, I was super excited to find one of these. I was asking my local card store about them and they said that they don't even think they would be able to get them in. So I was a little bummed out. But, I found that Target, so I am no longer bummed out. Now this is a pretty hefty price of $90 on sale, $100 not on sale. So yeah, you, if you're viewing this at the time of posting, now I should post this the same day that I unbox it because of how unique this product is. So yeah, if you're viewing, if you're viewing this, then at this time it is $10 off if you could find it.
at your local Target. What I think happened is a scalper went to all my local Targets and purchased all of them, which is unfortunate for us, or me, but it wasn't unfortunate because I still found one. Now if I can figure out how to open this thing, oh, all right, there we go. All right, so I may have to reposition the camera just for a minute. I don't want to knock anyone over. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit this box in here. I may have to do it in sections, but as you can see, the top opens like this. And then you have this awesome gold. I guess it's like a mat area that you set the cards on. And then you have these drawers. All right. Let's get into these drawers and see what's in here. Start with the top. So we'll start with this very top drawer here. So it looks like it's a rule book. Just your standard sword and shield rule book. I'll set this off to the side so it doesn't get in the way. And then the player's guide. All right, and then the code card for you guys that like the code card. So this is from the Ultimate Premium Collection. And then inside the book, let's see what we have here. Oh, okay. So it was just a little bit of, a little bit of, so it's not exactly like what I thought it was gonna be like in the deck boxes where it shows you all the cards. It's just a brief little description of the different types of cards and how you could use them in different combinations. Which is pretty neat. Oh no, I'm wrong guys, I'm wrong. There is a series promo list. Let's see if I can get this page to stay down and then I can show you guys the promo list. So yeah, I always, I always thought there was some type of list in these kind of books. So apparently it's the promo list. So that's pretty neat. Oh man, that's an awesome looking Pikachu card. I don't think I've seen that promo. If you know what promo box that's in, let me know in the comments below. Yeah. And then I, I just recently did his pin collection. I think these are the two that's in the Sword and Shield collection box. Yeah, that's a cool looking Pikachu. Huh. I didn't know there was... Oh, okay, this is the... Uh... Oh, man, I can... my mind totally went blank. Champion's Path Elite Trainer box, that's right. Huh. It even has, oh, the Charizard from the Vivid Voltage. Uh, okay, so those are the pro, those are the uh, deck building. I think they're deck building boxes. Ooh, and then the Ore Beetle. Oh, man, I wish I could have got one of those Pikachus or the Charizard. I believe those are straight from the Pokemon Center. And then these two are in the Vivid Voltage triple packs. Dang, guys. Man, this is an awesome book. Definitely something, something worth collecting. I'm trying to remember how this thing went in. Maybe it goes in like this. Do these things slide out before I slide that back in? Nope, those stay in place. All right, we'll start from the left and work our way to the right. So to start off the top, we have this awesome Zacian B gold card. Doesn't look like it's bent or messed up. I don't know if I'll keep that in the plastic or if I'll take it out. And then I believe this is the Zacian V. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Zacian V sleeves. Don't know if I ever use those. Oh, that's awesome. The Zacian V gold coin. Oh, I love these gold coins. What's so funny is uh, I actually have a coin that I got in... Japan whenever I was little so whenever the Pokemon trading card game came out over there in Japan inside these juices 
you had a chance of getting a metal coin. Let's see if I have one. Oh man, I don't know what I did with it. I used to take that with me to the Pokemon League. Whenever I used to play. I can't find the coin, guys. Wish I knew where it was so I could show you. Darn. I don't know. We'll see if I can find it here in a few minutes. All right, so the first one's going to contain four packs of just Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield. So it looks like they put different pack art on each one of these, which is awesome. So I'm going to set those up here for now. Oh, we got some more stuff in here. So we have the dividers. Oh, this is weird. Is this what the coin was supposed to be in? <laughs> Did they forget to sleeve the coin? And it's just floating plastic? Or is there an invisible coin in here that I don't know about? Oh, I see what happened. The edge of it, it was ripped open, so he must have plopped out. So we'll go ahead and put that coin back in there. Bloop! Well, it's a good thing that I plan on opening everything anyways, but yeah, that would have been a bummer if this was something that you were going to collect, because something was not even packed correctly. All right, drawer number two. So at the very top, we have some boosters. We have one, two, three, four, Darkness Ablaze, with all different pack arts. And then we have two Rebel Clash. And it looks like these are the Poison and... Man, I'm really bad. But these, I'm really bad with the marker coins because I don't play the game as much as I used to. So yeah, these are your damage markers. Or status markers. Man, I don't know what is up with this package. Like, everything just busted out. So these are the gold dice. In 10 forms. 100 forms. And then I guess this one is in 10 forms. So it comes with 6 gold dice. Comes with 6 black dice. And then we got some more Rebels Clash down here. So what's awesome, what I noticed, is none of them are the same pack arts. Like, they, they actually gave you different pack arts for each one of those packs. That's something different. Alright, and then you have the dividers for the inside of this container. And just for the sake of space, I'm going to put the dice back inside this middle box with the damage counters and slide that back in <clears throat> might have to find me a longer table <laughs> all right the final container i see gold we have the zama zenta v gold card set that off to the side over here and then we have the Zamazenta sleeves. And then we got some more boosters. We have four packs of Vivid Voltage. Oh, this is the one that broke the... It broke the, the different packs in each one. Vivid Voltage was the only one that had two of the same packs. Maybe that's... Maybe that means we pulled a... V Max Shiny Pikachu. <laughs> All right, and then you have your sleeves. And I don't know if you noticed in the Pokeballs in the left, in that one it was on the left side, and this one they were in the middle, and on the right side they're actually on the right side. And then we have our final coin. Oh, 
kind of hard to see with the writing on there, but there we go. That would be Zamazenta. So I'll stick him right here next to his little awesome spot. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to clear the box of the area so that way we can open these cards. And I'll open them from the oldest to the newest set. So just place this off to the side here. I mean, for, for $80, $90, considering what you get, I don't think it's a bad deal. Especially since you're getting the gold coins and the gold cards. Like, has Pokemon ever released a set where you get gold coins? I know they have the plastic coins, like these, but as far as the gold coins, that is the first time I've ever seen that. Alright, so we'll go ahead and set this off here, and we'll set him over here, as those are those gold cards. <clears throat> Alright. Now some booster packs. So this is our first pack of Sword and Shield. This one is Zamazenta. And let's see if we get some awesome pulls. So this is the code card for you guys that like using those code cards. I'd always give those code cards away. One, two, three, four. I believe it's four for Sword and Shield. Yep. All right. Move these booster packs over here. So we start with Leaf Energy, Quillfish, Pokemon Kid, Energy Search, Score Bunny, Sinistee, Maracus, Maracus, Pikachu. Oh, I gotta, I gotta put Pikachu down there. Galarian Meowth. <laughs> and a Reverse Hollow Galarian Meowth with a Rillaboom. Man, am I going to have enough space for all these cards? I'll put Pikachu there and then Meowth there. Alright, Sword and Shield pack number two. Alright, so promo, or not promo card, but the code card for you guys. One, two, three, four. I can't remember if there was a Charizard in Sword and Shield. I know there is in Darkness Ablaze. Lightning Energy, Corviscus, Galvantula, Galarian Linen, Cufant, Baltoy, Chinchow, Sizzlepeed, Galarian Zigzoon, Reverse Hollow Mudbray, and a non holographic Cloister for our rare. Bummer. All right, third pack of Sword and Shield. I didn't realize that the V Max, Snorlax, and Lapras were in the original Sword and Shield set. For some reason, I thought it was the set that was after that. But yeah, I guess the things that you learn. All right, Fighting Energy. Lumberry, Aurora Energy, Double, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Chinchow, Krogunk, Galarian Meowth, Reverse Hollow Crosmoth, and a non holographic Durant. And the Frosmoth is a rare. Alright, our last card pack from Sword and Shield. See if we get anything awesome from Sword and Shield, like a VMAX card. That would be awesome to pull a VMAX card out of the box. There's that code card for you guys. Let's see if we get that last pack magic in Sword and Shield. We have Psychic Energy, Drizzle, Galarian Stunkfish, Pokemon Center Lady, Shelder, Krogunk, Silicobra, Minichino. Bullpix, Reverse Hollow Ordinary Rod, and our last card is a Chinchino, non-holographic. Yeah, it's a bummer. Only got one Hollow Rare out of all those card packs. 
All right, Darkness Ablaze. You know what, I'm gonna say Darkness Ablaze for the last because that's my favorite pack out of all of them. So we'll do Rebels Clash next. And I'm sorry if you guys like uh, the other packs better, but you know, as my name says, the Charizard Hunter, I'm going for those dragons. All right. So our first pack of Rebels Clash. Code card for you guys. One, two, three, four. We got Lightning Energy, Shuckle, Luxio, oops, sorry, Durant, Phantom, Bronzer, Toxel, Applin, Galarian, Dumasca, Dramaca. And then we got Reverse Hollow Luxio, which is a uncommon. And then a Rare Arcanine, which is a non-holographic. Alright, second pack of Rebels Clash. Yeah, I was super excited to get this box. I mean, even if I don't pull any awesome cards, the contents of the box is what I wanted anyways. So... It's not a big deal for me. I just didn't want to pay the high scalper prices because I'm pretty sure that's what happened around me is the scalpers saw that they were in stock and on sale. So they decided, oh, I'm going to buy them all and sell them for a high price. That's like these uh, Charizard deck boxes. I found one at the GameStop whenever they first were released. And I found one at the Walmart whenever I was out shopping this past weekend. And they were $12.99. There's a certain person that lives in this area that purchased them all every time they're in stock and sells them for $30 each, which I think is ridiculous. But hey, what goes around comes around, right guys? So we got Leaf Energy, Capacious Bucket, Turfield Stadium, Carcoal, Roly Coley, Applin, Hathena, Magikarp, Metadite, Verse Hollow Clefairy, which is a uncommon and a rare mandibuzz which is not a hollow and the reason why i have two of those charizard deck box guys is because i plan on opening one and then i plan on keeping one on display up there so if you guys were wondering why i had two it wasn't because i was trying to hoard them or anything it's just i wanted one to keep and one to open and if I could find another one, whenever I get enough subscribers, I might do a giveaway for the deck box. But that will be in the future, and that's if I can find one more. So, I'm pretty sure we'll be finding this stuff probably around January, February. Alright, we got Water Energy, Draclock, Bronzong, Milo, Stunky, Clefairy, Voltorb, Nose Pass, Wingle, Reverse Hollow Aracuda, which is a common, and a Darmesian Rare. So, man, it's kind of crazy. I only pulled one rare out of eight, almost eight packs. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic on this last pack of Rebels Clash. All right, there's a code card for you guys. One, two, three, four. Spin that around. We got Dark Energy, Helioloski, Doblade, Heracross, Galarian Meowth, Caterpie, Galarian Corsola, Litwick, Shinx, Reverse Hollow Galar Mine, which is a uncommon. And then our last card is a. Oh, look at that! We pulled a Vika Volt Rare. I'll take it. Only rare we pulled from Le Rebels Clash that was a hollow. So now we're going into the Vivid Voltage. I think I'm going to save Pikachu and Celebi for last. And we'll go ahead and open these two. So Vivid Voltage was the only pack that I know, or the only ones that I noticed that had the same pack art. All the other packs were different. So maybe that's why. All right, one, two, three, four, and I don't think this was already pre-opened and then returned because of the fact that a lot of the stores have a no return policy now. 
So the other thing I was going to tell you guys to be careful is if you buy cards from Walmart, what I've been noticing is people have been going in there and opening the packs and stealing the packs out of the boxes and then retaping them shut. I almost purchased a Blast Toys box set that was missing two booster packs. And I would have been highly upset after paying the $40 price that they wanted. So yeah, if you guys are buying boxes from Walmart, double check and make sure all the packs are in there and make sure it's not taped shut. All right, so we got Dark Energy, B. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm mixing the cards over here. I'm going to set this off to the side. Then we'll mix the different series together. All right. We got the Gira, 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 am I saying that right? Giratharig, Giratharig, Moo Moo Cheese, Mudbray. Joltik, Weedle, Tylo, Sandile, Reverse Hollow Opal, which is a uncommon, and a Ninjask rare, which is non holographic. All right, man, we are not pulling any uh, holographic rares, or I mean, we're pulling a few, but I feel like we're pulling not as many as. We normally do. I don't know what's going on. Man, I wish I could find that coin for you guys so I could compare it to the gold coins. What I may do is a separate video once I find it, and then uh, I'll just call it the coin coin difference video. <laughs> and if you guys are interested in watching, you can. If not, then you know it'll just be a separate video. It'll only be a few seconds long. <laughs> All right, we got Water Energy, Charmeleon, oh man, this is already starting off well. Pincher and, wait a minute, is this Vivid Voltage? I don't know, is there a Charizard in Vivid Voltage? Yeah, it's Vivid Voltage. Telescopic Sight, Voltorb, oh duh, yeah, there is Charizard in Vivid Voltage, duh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rockruff, Wismer, Trubbish, Tynamo, Reverse Hollow, Two Cannon, and a non holographic B drill for our rare. Man, that's okay because when we pull that B Max card, that'll make it worth all these non holo rares we're pulling. And that's a code card for you guys for Vivid Voltage. One, two, three, four for the cards. And then we're starting off with the Metal Energy. Beauty. Shuckle. Nuzleaf. Yanma. Whooper. Da da day. Peaky Peck. Choodle. Reverse Hollow Clefairy. And a non holographic mana. Like, mana Terrick. Man, I think that's the second Clefairy that we pulled from a different set. All right, last pack magic for Vivid Voltage. Will we pull a rare hollow from Vivid Voltage? Or is Vivid Voltage going to leave us high and dry? I think we're going to pull a VMAX Pikachu from this Pikachu pack. All right, Metal Energy, Memory Capsule, Giraffe Rig, Electric, Riolu, Jim Chio, Nakata, Voltorb, Rockruff, Reverse Hollow Voltorb, and the last pack card is going to be a holographic shaman. I'll take it. I'll take the one holographic rare out of none. Too bad it wasn't one of the uh, amazing rares, but eh, it can't be too picky. All right, last four packs. We got Darkness Ablaze. And this is the code card for you amazing guys that's watching my videos. And sorry for this video being so long, but it's just a lot of content inside the box. Normally my videos aren't this long, are not this long. So let's see if we can pull that shiny Charizard. So we're starting with the Fighting Energy. Simipore, Spike Muth, Bird Keeper. Snubble, Meltan, Bunnelby, Paris, 
Larvitar, Reverse Hollow Grid Dent, and our Holographic Cor Corvin Corbin Knight. Man, it's awesome. We're already starting off with some Hollow Pools in this Darkness Amaze. I'm going to rename it Darkness Amaze. I know we're going to pull that VMAX Charizard. I just know it. I just know it, guys. I know it. There's that code card for you guys. One, two, three, four for the code trick. Oh, you know what? This 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 just proves that we're going to pull that Charizard today. All right. Fire Energy. Zivilius. Puptar. Pokemon Breeder. Nurturing. Man, that is a whole lot to say. Teddy Ursa. Pansier, Morlul, Wishy Washy, Cuffant, Reverse Hollow Manectric, and a non holographic non holographic Arctovish. All right, guys, down to two packs. I'm gonna save Charizard for last because we all know the Charizards are in the Charizard packs. These are really hard to open for some reason. I even bent the code card. <laughs> That's for you guys. One, two, three, four. Ooh, will this be the awesome pack? Metal Energy. A uh, lot of writing again. <laughs> Combuskin, Staravia, Skitty, Pansage, Golette, Vanillite. Oh, look at that. Christmas time, and they got the Christmas trees. Trapinch, Reverse Hollow Diglett, and a non holographic Galarian Darmashian. You know what? I'm noticing that there's only one hollow rare in all these packs. I hope that's not a common thing that they did. I hope they didn't weigh these whenever they sent these out. All right, code card for you guys on this final pack. Let's see if we get that final pack magic and pull that. V Max Charizard or that V Max Rainbow Charizard that I've been searching for for months. Alright. Psychic Energy. Duravitix. Gilmwood Tangle. It's a confusing art. <laughs> Larion. Carablast. Galarian Dermaca. Larvitar. Nick it. Bounce Sweet. Reverse Hollow Dino in our last rare for our last pack of magic is a non holographic Galarian Surfetched. So, yeah, I think. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I believe I only pulled one rare out of each one of those sets. That is so weird. Alright, guys, just to go over the rares that I pulled. From Sword and Shield, it was this Rilla Boom. From Rebels Clash, or no, I'm sorry, this was from Sword and Shield as well. Frozmoth, and then Rebels Clash, I believe, was this Vika Volt. And then from Vivid Voltage was this Shaman. And then from Darkness Ablaze was this. Cor Corbinite. So I only pulled one rare from each set. And just to go over the stuff that I really liked about the kit again were these gold coins. So we have the Zamazashian and Zamazena or Z Zashian and Zamazenta. There we go. <laughs> Those are mouthfuls. So yeah, those coins and then the awesome gold cards. I wish there was a way to connect these together. Like the art started on one side and just ended on the other. That would be pretty awesome. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please give me a like and subscribe. Normally I post three to four times a week. Since this video is something special, this video will be posted with another video for that day. So, thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments below if you've purchased these boxes and what you have pulled from them. Did you pull more than one holographic rare inside each set, or were you just like me and you pulled one holographic rare from each set and you ended up with a bunch of 
non-holo rares and definitely let me know in the comments below if you pulled any full art or VMAX characters because that would have been awesome. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, guys. See you later. Bye.